Hello everyone, I am Phelan Entity and today I'm going to show you how to update your VRM models without losing a bunch of work uh, when it comes to changing on the mesh like UVs, blend shapes, uh, vertices, stuff like that. First of all, uh, I have a VRM already here of uh, my winter model right here, looking good, has a bunch of work done already. Um, for the purpose of this, I haven't actually set up any blend shape clips, but let's just pretend I have like, I don't know, 100, 200 clips set up. Uh, I obviously have some uh, spring bones that you can see here in the, in the yellow. If you look here in secondary, I have some root bones set up for nice physics. But as I'm working on this and uh, I would be about to test it, I kind of noticing that there's an issue here. Right here, you can see these holes in my hair, it seems, which, uh, if you have seen something like this before, are normal issues. Um, we could fix that through a shader, but if you use VRM, depending on what shader you use, you usually uh, don't have the option to have this shaded on both sides. So this is a normal issue where we just need to flip the normals. Uh, I also know that usually I should have down here some lines which aren't showing up, also a normal issue. Uh, and yeah, usually what I would have to do is go back into Blender, fix this, uh, export it back into Unity and then export it to a VRM, but then I lose a bunch of work, I lose my blend shapes, I lose all the setup that I did, if I export to VSF Avatar, I lose all my animation stuff. A lot of work basically, but we can actually get around that. If we go uh, back to Blender here, here's my model. Uh, like I said, I have some lines down here. Let's fix that. All I have to do is just flip the normals with Control Shift N here in this case. And up here, I know that my hair, which has its own material, if I turn on back face calling, can see that these faces aren't the right way around. Uh, if you don't want to turn that on, you can also use the little drop down up here and there should be face orientation, which basically shows you which way all the faces are showing and everything that's in red is basically inverted. So all I need to do, oops, that's the wrong one. If I select my hair right here, and I recalculate the normals. It's all fixed, it's all good. Very nice. So let me re-export this. I just need to make sure I have what I need selected. Then I'm gonna export this to FBX. Now I know I have this somewhere in my here right now, in my tutorial. So I can actually if I go into my uh, Unity uh, project right here through the Explorer, I actually can go into uh, the FPX that I originally um, exported it as and actually overwrite this file. And Unity will keep all the import uh, work that you've done. So it will uh, keep all the import options. It will keep the humanoid um, bone selections that you've done. So right now I just need to do this, this, just uh, everything selected. Uh, I think I need leaf bones. I don't, <laughs> don't quite remember if I had it before or not. Don't apply modifiers, otherwise you're gonna lose the blend shapes, all that. And then we're gonna export. Now, back in Unity, it should do a little re-import. So here we have basically our fixed, uh, fixed model. If I just drag that in real quick, I move it to the side. We can see that the normals seem to be fine. And if I throw a quick material on that, we should see, there we go. There's the lines that I just fixed. And if I put that up here, and here, and here, there, all our hair is actually fixed and nice. Now, Obviously that doesn't change the fact that our actual VRM is still broken. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna delete this one. Then I'm going to select my little imp imported model right here. I'm gonna export it to VRM, but I'm not gonna overwrite my uh, original VRM. I'm just gonna export it to a new folder. Let's actually create a new folder here. 
folder. Let's call it VRM underscore fix. Right, that, that's fine. Uh, I'll just save it under the, the weird name I gave it. We'll take a moment. And then we have a new folder here, which is the same structure as the VRM is supposed to have. Now what we can do to basically fix our mesh now is go into the mesh that is broken. In my case, that's the body mesh. And right here we have mesh and it says body mesh 002 baked. Now I can actually replace that if I click the little lock here so we don't lose the inspector window and go into my VRM fix. Uh, there should be one that is called dot meshes, which has basically all the meshes of the uh, model we just exported. It has the basically repaired body mesh right here. And if I drag that over here, it's fixed. Everything is fixed. Everything is nice. Now, depending on what you changed, you can change a lot of things. You can change vertex positions. You can change um, your blend shapes. You can change your UVs. There are some things you shouldn't change. What you shouldn't change is the order of your blend shapes. If you change the order of your blend shapes, your blend shape clips will get kind of confused and uh, access the wrong blend shapes you, you might have given them. If you change your vertex count, that might break the mesh. I'm not entirely sure if you can add or subtract or stuff like that uh, when it comes to vertices. I would not do that. <laughs> Uh, otherwise, it might it might just disappear when you try to replace the mesh. In that case, uh, you simply can't do this trick and you sadly have to re-export. But if you want to re-export this as a VRM, you can basically go into the Explorer. Here you can show an Explorer. Then you can just take this asset right here, copy it, and then bring it back into your original VRM folder mesh and then just overwrite your original mesh and if that is all fine you can bring it back and you can re-export it as your vrm or if you're already exporting to vsf avatar you don't have to do that you can just immediately do it towards vsf avatar all right, I hope that's going to help you with your future models and with your workflow in general. Uh, this is very, very useful if you just want to be a little bit more confident when it comes to updating your mesh. It doesn't even have to be broken if you just want to like update your mesh for UVs or add more blend shapes, stuff like that. Uh, just, you know, just replace the, the mesh. You don't have to do redo a lot of work. And yeah, that's it. Bye-bye.